Hi, and thank you again for taking the time and the next step as well in one of the greatest periods in our lives. It is what I call the first half of the Escrow Economics course that I actually wrote back in 2019. And we are talking about the evolution of money. So I have a lot to cover. So let me cover as much as I can fast for you to help you make a bigger investment decision. I am an entrepreneur and a long-term investor on the BNI side of the cash flow quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. Today, my focus is more on building businesses and business models that make sense and that can make money that works harder for me than I have to work for money. So what I am doing and going to share with you is about passive income, income strategies as well. Once you, sit, you set it up and you set it up right to print your money or to make passive income in various forms. So I've been doing this for a number of years now. But before you get started, um, I want to stretch your vision. And this is why I'm doing this video in particular. Um, so you have a bigger understanding first, so you can understand who you are doing business with. And that's important to me because I'm not a one hit wonder. So back in the late 1990s, folks, I worked in Western Massachusetts. So I drove on the Mass Pike a lot to go back and forth between Boston and Springfield, Mass at the time. And during that time, I never forget watching the telecommunication guys work that I was working digging and they were digging through the middle lane of the highway. And back then they were putting fiber optics. Fiber optics to the Interstate 90 from Boston to New York. That was back before Y2K happened. Just about Y2K, the time. I'm going to share with you three important things about cryptocurrency that the average person either does not know or does not fully understand what the bigger picture of cryptocurrency is all about. And really, when I say the word cryptocurrency, I'm really talking about blockchain technology, and I'll talk about that in the future videos, trainings. But first and foremost, Ethereum, folks, is cryptocurrency. Sure, you know that. And aside from XRP, that is the second most important two, two cryptos that you should be invested in, in if you don't understand anything else about cryptocurrency. I know there's a hub, all the hype about Bitcoin. I actually wore a shirt Bitcoin. I couldn't care less about Bitcoin, really. It's actually one of the last things I actually invested in part of my story for my private clients I share on another platform that I have. And the reason I tell you that it's important because Ethereum is the fundamental crypto that the majority of the tokens, which is any type of other cryptocurrency that you think um, most people don't know that there's, big, there's cryptocurrency and there's tokens, and which is, and I'll explain that in a second, but... And the majority of the tokens that you hear about are built off that, which is Ethereum. Bitcoin was the first, Ethereum was the second, and just about a majority of other ones after that came underneath Ethereum technology. It's very important to know that. So think of a token as a parent and child relationship. A large majority of the building blocks of the cryptocurrencies that, that are out there were built on Ethereum infrastructure, like I said. And that is what makes it more valuable and underrated at the same time. Right now, Ethereum is actually going through the second phase, which I'm mostly staked in as well for full disclosure. Because um, again, I'm a deep investor in cryptocurrency. I didn't just start yesterday. I've been investing and done, I said, excuse me, I started researching in 2018, 2019, I heavily started investing in cryptocurrency um, and then got deeper into investing in, in different evolution. I have a, a little, report that I have you could if you're interested let me know the eight wonders of the crypto world I call it and the eight types of ways just like there's industries there's eight types of um, industries you could say in crypto that I, I am invested in um, not all of them but majority of them that's a little nugget so while the public is all gone ho about Bitcoin going to sixty thousand dollars to hundred thousand dollars and beyond it is not the most efficient currency out there folks most of us doesn't understand that. And that is a fact. This is not Dmitry Frederick saying this. This is a fact. If you're a student of cryptocurrency, you'll learn that. But rarely would you ever hear about me talking about Bitcoin. I don't talk about Bitcoin that often. Just about everything from my courses I've developed, I, and I even stress that I don't talk about Bitcoin because Bitcoin doesn't do jack. It has a long way. It's just hype of everybody talking about the first thing. I always tell some of my old school business people, 
um, we know the word cotton swab from being investors, and, and, and especially those in the network market. But most of us heard of, um, you know, I, was, I lost my train of thought, cotton swab and uh, Q-tips. You heard Q-tips more, but cotton swab was original, you know, but people got stuck on the name. So a little bit of education right there for you. So I actually own very little Bitcoin, like I'm saying, compared to many other um, holdings based on what I know about the cryptocurrency it, and what it does. I have a lot of research that I've done and I have my platform that's, again, these are paid platforms I'm talking about. I don't get nothing to do with this, but I'm just giving you, because I've been doing this for a long time. Again, I'm not a one hit wonder. This is mining platform that I'm doing something different, helping exposing people to the concept and understanding that you guys and like myself can all print cryptocurrencies if you want to. Um, I didn't waste my time in investing in crypto trying to mine Bitcoin. I talk about in a training. You can see that in uh, my membership area that's free. And this brings me back though, folks, to point two as it relates to mining helium, which is what this is about. So I'm gonna get deeper with you. The best kept secret about Ethereum is that Ethereum is really the new Web 3.0. Very big deal. Let me repeat it. The best kept secret about Ethereum is that it is part of, it's the, it's the essence of Web 3.0. That is building the infrastructure of a faster internet connection. Hence why you're here. Maybe you have heard of Internet of Things. Maybe you haven't, but you probably have heard of 5G. 5G is that five, uh, uh, Internet of Things, IoT, that you may see. Well, Web 2.0 is too slow to do what they are planning to do in the future, which is right now, folks. There's a big vision for what you're going to do with Web 2.0. And that is twofold. Two very important things that's going to be done with Web 2.0. Number one, Web 2.0 is about connectivity. And number two, it's about security. And actually, when I talk about security in my course, I talk about security in relation to NFT. Blockchain technology is what I look at. The term currency, I hate it because people are stuck on money. I'm an IT person. I'm an investor. I'm an entrepreneur. I fully understand the future of what's going to be developed on the blockchain side. And that's what is very important for you to know. Even if you don't choose to do business with me, it's all good. It doesn't matter to me. But you'll be blessed by doing business with me because I drop knowledge and nuggets. Let's go back to connectivity. The number one thing is connectivity. Everything will be connected to the internet. Hence why Web 2.0. When I talk about other trainings about on platforms on YouTube, for example, about Uber and, um, and uh, Lyft, going to be wiped out. You, For those of you, sorry if you're doing Uber and Lyft. I dog Uber and Lyft. I can't help it because it's not a real business. I explain that in a future video you can see on my other platform if you're interested. And because automation, I watch what's going on in, this is a side note, by the way, I'm sorry. I watch what's going on in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where they're working on automated technology. The ability for Web 2.0 to be, um, excuse me, 5G, Internet of Things, to be able to connect all devices, it will help data transmit technology information, data information in a secure manner to the cars, to know not to crash upon each other. Deep stuff, folks. So namely, automation and AI technology is what I'm really talking about. So the infrastructure needs to be much faster for us to experience some of the cool technologies ahead. I just give you a little hint, uh, a little tip of what's in store and what's already being done and with a bigger vision of that. Security, let's talk about that. I, everything, even when I started with cryptocurrency, I cared about security. I know some of you, I'm very conservative, I like, like you, especially if you're a business owner, and security is the most important factor. And even things right now that I'm already predicting will happen, it's already happening, and how one of the cryptocurrencies that I'm already invested in, it focused on providing data security for files so you could solve the problem of ransomware. That's a lot of, not a nugget. As an investor of cryptocurrency, I don't care about the word cryptocurrency, like I said, which is what, 90% folks, that's just my take, 90% of the people who are into crypto are buying the hype of making money. I just shared two very important things that you need to understand about Ethereum, to understand about Internet of Things, and why cryptocurrency solved those problems, and why I am an investor long term. 
everything I'm doing is long-term investment, creating legacy. So cryptocurrency is much more deeper than that, folks. Hopefully you see that. This brings me to my last point, and that's point three, NFT. I'm telling you, if Ethereum wasn't nothing a big deal to you, what I'm gonna say next is a very big deal. Because like I said, industries, NFTs are just general term that, that's used to talk about art. But folks, there's a lot more to NFT. And that's where the security part comes in to what I see data files. Um, that's gonna be, um, it's, it's only post a pre, pre um, design. Um, just like, you know, we were in the pre-internet days when we did, um, you know, if you remember, if you were in college, like I was, those yellow or um, green screens, you were typing code or you were typing in these, uh, um, you know, chat rooms per se. That was pre-internet, folks. But I digress, all right? NFT, folks, huge. I can't, I can't even stress on how huge NFT is, but I'm going to give you a nugget. Watch this. And to help you understand who you're doing business with, for you to understand NFT. You really need to watch The Matrix 2. That's The Matrix Reloaded, part two. The one with the motorcycle scene on the highway. I love that scene. And as a philosopher and a visionary, that's the difference, folks. I'm going to share with you something very deep about NFT. What is important to know about NFT is the word blockchain technology, which is the layer or the underlying layer of security that will allow us to do millions of transactions in seconds, probably microseconds actually, within seconds on a global level without the red tape and bureaucracy, and that's what the government doesn't like. So what about the Matrix movie, you ask, right? Well, let me tell you, in the beginning of the movie, this is the Matrix 2 Reloaded, make sure you watch that because you'll see the points of what I'm making right now. You need to watch the opening scene, very important scene, don't skip a step, because the very first scene, I went to rewatch it and I said, wow, I get it. And that was after doing a lot of research. And I said, let me go watch The Matrix, because I remember that scene, and it made sense. And I'm about to make sense for you right now. The scene fades out to a clock as you watch the movie, zooms out, seeing all these graphics you know, in The Matrix, this and that. And what is important about this, that, that scene of the clock, okay, is for you to forward the video to the dining meeting Dining, um, dining uh, they have, so Neo and the, the team, they go to have the meeting with the, the, the programmer. Listen very carefully to what the programmer says as he watches the woman eating the chocolate cake. And that's the part I want you to watch next. Okay? As you watch the opening credits from the viewpoint of the programmer, he is telling you how he created a clock at the start of the movie from coding. Coding is the key word. And the coding, which we see in the physical resemblance of a clock or a watch, you know, we watches as well, or Apple watches per se. So, in, so imagine if you were inside as a coded digital thing and what all the functions of the clock is, is what I'm trying to say to you here. And watch when the video zooms out to show us what we are looking at from within. I'm looking at a camera, you're looking at me from a video. But imagine if we were inside the camera, which is the matrix, and we were actually watching every functionality of what makes the camera works, what makes your watch tick. That is the matrix, folks. Now go back to the dining scene and listen to what he says about the cake before she eats it. That's the second part of the video again because he actually gave the woman an orgasm by programming it. He programmed an orgasm in a cake. Excuse me, ladies, if I'm not here to offend you. It's something very important to understand. Very special dessert. I wrote it myself. It starts so simply. Each line of the program creating a new effect, just like poetry. First, a rush, heat, a heart flutters. You can see it now, yes? She does not understand why 
Is it the wine? No. What is it then? What is the reason? And soon it does not matter. Soon the why and the reason are gone. And all that matters is the feeling itself. And this is the nature of the universe. We struggle against it, we fight to deny it, but it is, of course, pretends it is a lie. Beneath our poised Folks, the cryptocurrency world is about programming the virtual world for which we'll be living in and doing business in. This is getting deeper, okay? And it's not fantasy. <laughs> Don't confuse me with fantasy because you miss a lot in the future. Every software or hardware that we use and operate in the physical world needs to be coded and created in the virtual world that is the matrix. And that is, and, and it has already started. There's another couple of movies that could relate to it. I'm not going to get into it. But that is the matrix, folks. You can learn more by signing up for my course when it's completed and see what I'm talking about because I go deep into this stuff. So back to the beginning for why you are here. Does that sound familiar? Because Neo was asked the same question. I am helping build the future network of the internet, and that is Web 3.0. It is the starting point of everything that is new, and that is NFT. It is called the People's Network. Do you want to join me in building the People's Network? If so, click on the link below. The best, um, the link below that actually best identifies your status. I have also um, a special message to talk to each one of you and explain to you further whether you are an IT person, which is talking nerd talk, whether you are a pastor, ministry, whether you are a small business owner, or you are someone in affiliate marketing who understands how to build businesses. Folks, again, this is not about network marketing, and I don't like network marketing. I shouldn't say that. I don't care for network marketing anymore. And I've, I've grown network marketing. I support the industry I respect it. This is not about network marketing. Built networks. Churches, I have a game plan for you guys. Small business, I have a game plan for you guys. And IT people, this is right up your alley. Because I have some other stuff that I'm going to share with you in the near future that I'm already working on to help you make passive income from things that you've already been doing in your job. Building peer-to-peer -peer networks. So join me, sign up and register. And remember, just because you register doesn't mean that you've done anything. It just means you open the door. In order to get started, you have to register your account and reserve a hotspot. And I have some trainings about that. You may want to buy the hotspot. And I explain in my membership every year. So I, I welcome you with open hands. Remember, like I said from the very beginning in all the videos that you'll be watching, or whether that you watch it first or second, I'm not here to do it for you. I'm not here to give you a rah-rah. I'm an entrepreneur. I build businesses. I'm an investor. I look at the future of what is coming, and I invest. And I invest long-term. And I'm here to just stretch your envision. And you can invest with me in other adventures that I'm involved in, but I'm not here to tell you to do anything. You came from looking at information. I'm not coming to beg you to change legacy. If you think we're going to go back to normal, you don't need to be on this platform because you have another thing coming to you. They are lying to us about the future. And I have a lot of understanding of our technology and the things I understand from studying marketing for the last five years to really understand digital marketing, which is another service I do. We are moving 100% digital. Even printing money, even making money will be like a thing that you think about idea, the concept of creating thought and vision. My mentor asked me many years ago, Dimitri, do you know how to print money? Can you print your own money? And of course, like you, many of you, you think, you know, legally, is that legal? I'm not talking about legal. My name is Dimitri Frederick. Most important thing you need to know is the word Frederick, based on, built on integrity. I don't have time to waste with you. I don't have time to waste your time. And I'm building legitimate business models that will create generational wealth, that will open your eyes 
to the future of technology that I understand. To understand, I own over 140 cryptocurrencies. Majority of them, many of you have never heard of before because I took the time to read about them, to understand them, to know what the hell they're going to do in the next 10 years. And I'm positioned for success. And I'm here to help you position yourself for success. I'm not here to convince you, but to press upon you the importance of what I'm sharing with you. Listen, I'm going to keep it real. Don't be fooled by the color of my skin. I'm just a black man in a white man's body that actually see the vision far ahead of many people. And I'm not scared to say that. Because the things I do, the average black person, minority people, if that's you watching, very carefully. I'm trying to save some of y'all from your failures and trap of success because we are going into the matrix. Whether or not you want to believe that or not, it's happening. And I get it. And there's things that I will share with you that I won't even charge you for. But I will not give up all my intellectual property because you like vision. My goal is to stretch your vision and point you to the information. The choice is always going to be yours. And it doesn't matter to me. My family's legacy is already <laughs> positioned. I've done so many things the last 10 years to set my family tree. Because the 21st century, the next half, because 100, um, 100 years in high school of economics, by 2025, you're not going to understand this country. It's going to vastly change, regardless of who's in office, because that's not even important. But it, it, what's important is, is the decision that you make right now. This is one of many things I'm de developing to help you passive income generated through cryptocurrency investing. Um, I love investing. I'm addicted to investing right now. So I look forward to doing business with you. Best of luck in the choices that you make. Take care and God bless.